guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yasmin, if you didn't know, now you know. Today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm eating for glute growth, and how I grow my muscles with the food and diet that I'm eating. And I'm kinda gonna take you along my day and share the tips throughout the day. Tip number one for growing glutes is going to be having rest days. I'm gonna say it, today is my rest day, it is Wednesday. I typically take two training days and then one rest day in between my week. And the biggest mistake that I see a lot of girls doing is never appreciating the rest days because I know what that feels like. I know how it feels to feel like, oh my God, it's my rest day. Now what do I do? You literally form all your hobbies into the gym and you feel kind of like alone. You feel incomplete. You're not having the endorphins that come from the workout itself. So it's kind of like a drug, it's great to move your body. But if you're trying to grow your muscles, it's not good to do too much of anything. So for me, number one thing that I prioritize nowadays and that I've seen the biggest growth, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture here and here of the difference, or actually I'm gonna insert a video. I was stunned and shocked. So in the video here, I literally thought my body was nice. Okay, like I remember I used to go to the gym and I had girls come to me and ask me what my glute routine was, and I thought that it was nice there. And then I'm looking at videos now and I'm like, wow, I have changed drastically and the number one thing that I noticed is the rest seven to eight hours of sleep a night I'm not stressing as much as I was back then and I'm also prioritizing my rest days so I'll have two training days like my glute day my back day or whatever upper body day and then I'll take my rest day in between on Wednesdays or whatever schedule you have so two days on one day off two days on one day off so I'm having two rest days a week and I've noticed a significant difference in my glute growth from there as you can see from the videos that I just showed you like that's number one tip for growing glutes and I don't think a lot of people understand the importance of rest because they almost feel like if you're doing more then you're going to get more and it's not how it works okay so make sure you're prioritizing your rest days if you are trying to actually grow your body for what you want it to look like that's gonna be tip number one and I also want to share that I have my hourglass boot camp guide which is more of a September challenge but it's also gonna be a eight week guide so it's for two months and I have put my whole freaking soul into this guide I have tested every single workout not only have I tested it I've tested it for years guys these are workouts that have a hundred percent significantly changed my glutes from literally being flat to fat <laughs> and love these workouts I don't feel fatigued I feel so energized literally just feel so good when I go to the gym doing these workouts so it's gonna be the hourglass boot camp it's gonna be released September 1st I hope I can get this video out before then I'm gonna try to edit it all today at the coffee shop if you guys want that guide link is gonna be in the description I'll give you guys a little bit of description so in the hourglass boot Bootcamp, you're gonna have eight weeks of exercises that are gonna be glute focused as well as sculpting for an hourglass. So it's gonna also include upper body days. I see some guys out there which are amazing, some guides that only focus on like glutes and they don't do upper body days in the program. For me, I think an hourglass frame is literally built on illusion. If you're gonna grow your glutes and not your back and your shoulders, you're not growing an hourglass body. You're gonna have a big butt, and that's pretty much it. So for me, I made sure that I included the hourglass framework of eight weeks of exercises based on your upper and lower body. I glute workouts. You're gonna have one optional day, which is a full body day, which also has glutes inside of it. So, so technically you're hitting glutes three times a week, but you're also just doing more of a full body instead of emphasizing everything on glutes. I don't believe in overtraining glutes, so I think three to four days is too much. I personally like to stick to two. So anyways, that's gonna be in the guide. You're also gonna have nutritional and diet guidance. So I am giving you meal plan examples. I'm gonna give you four different meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that you can have that fit into macros that are higher protein. And I'm also giving you guys the breakdown on diet so you guys can finally understand diet and stop yo-yoing and falling for the diet fads because the industry is just trying to sell you guys. I hate to say it. They feed eating disorders because eating disorders make them money. Let's be real. People that need help, people that have a problem, always need a solution. And that's what the industry does. I want to break that. I have had an eating disorder, so my goal in life is literally to help girls get out of that. So this guide is gonna break diet down for you. Obviously, if you have an eating disorder, you need to go seek help. I'm not saying that this guide is gonna cure you, but it is going to give you guidance to finally understand macronutrients. It's science, so it could be complicated, but I broke it down in a very simple way that I know would help. It's only gonna be $19.99. I wanted to make it affordable for everybody. You're also gonna have private access to an Instagram that showcases every single workout, so you know what you're doing when you go to the gym. You're also gonna have a spiritual and mental guidance. It's just something that has helped me along my journey, and I wanted to put it in there 
to share. So you have 31 pages packed with information. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please, 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 if you guys do purchase it, you guys don't have to, but if you guys want to, please let me know if you guys enjoy it because I know I know a lot of you will. I put my whole heart and soul into it. As well as my other guides, this is more of an advanced guide. So if you are a beginner, you can make it beginner friendly, but I highly recommend my ass on flat, waist on flat program for a beginner. Do that if you'd like. But now we're gonna go ahead and go to the coffee shop because I've been loving working at a coffee shop. I just feel so productive. Obviously this morning got delayed only because of the fact that whenever I film, it does take a lot longer, but I'm not gonna go on a tangent. I'm not gonna go ahead and over talk. We're gonna go to the coffee shop. I'm gonna be getting a lot of client work done. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get going. But I wanna show you guys my outfit before I leave because I literally just feel so beautiful today. And you know, I think some days we just need to, and by the way, this zipper, I don't know what's wrong with it. It looks like it's undone, but it's not. This is the outfit for today. At this point, I really do think the Starbucks employees are gonna know me my first name because I am literally here every single day for like four or five hours. But I love it because you know what? It makes me social. Even though I'm sitting there in the corner by myself, I see humans and it feels like I have a normal job and career and I've been getting so much done. But besides the point, I did go ahead and leave Starbucks right now because it's three o'clock and I'm absolutely famished and starving. So I do need to go ahead and grab lunch. I'm not sure if I want to eat at home. I'm trying to think if I even have food at home right now or if I want to eat out decisions decisions on that note we're gonna go ahead and grab some food because your girl's on the verge of being hangry and let's be real we don't like that get into tip number two for growing the glutes and that's gonna be eating enough food okay so going into that thank god for costco because I don't know what I would do without things like this on busy hectic days when literally I have nothing else in my fridge. This is the Alaska Salmon Burgers from Costco. They are 170 calories, 20 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, and nine grams of fat, which is really, really good, especially for salmon, because salmon typically is a higher fat source. So, so how you're gonna grow your glutes with this tip is pretty much always having three balanced macronutrients at every single meal. If you're trying to grow out your glutes, you cannot be cutting out your carbs, your fats, and your protein. You need all three because it's gonna put you in a calorie maintenance or calorie surplus, and it's gonna also fuel you to get a better workout. So that's gonna be tip number two, eating enough and getting every single macronutrient at all three meals. It doesn't have to be at a snack, but at least at all three meals, you're having a protein, carb, and fat. I'm also gonna show you guys my lunch, but pretty much for a protein source, I'm choosing this salmon patty. You can also use tofu if you're vegan. You can also use chicken, steak, um, but keep in mind that if you are choosing a steak or a salmon, it's gonna be a higher fat content. So you're gonna have limited amount of fat that you're gonna add to it. You see what I mean? Versus if it was chicken, it's a leaner source, depending on what chicken. Um, but if it's a chicken breast, you're gonna be able to add like olive oil to make it taste better. But regardless, you know, protein, carbon, fat. So for protein source, we're going for salmon. And then for carb source, I meal prepped some jasmine rice. And there's also some asparagus prepped in there as well. So I'm probably gonna have about a cup of rice as well as asparagus. And I'll add like one fourth of an avocado for extra fat. As you guys saw in my last clip, I did go ahead and have a protein bar as a snack. Typically for snacks, that is like the options that I pick. I typically have two snacks a day. One is more carb fat dense and the other one is more protein dense. So today, because I'm in a coffee shop, I wanted to get a protein item because I know it was gonna keep me held over for longer. So get it. You get it? Snack option is typically always a higher carb before my workout is a pre-workout snack. So let's go ahead and make some lunch because I'm starving. And like I said, we're literally this close, this freaking close to getting mad.
I just finished eating lunch as well as finishing some extra client work that needed to be done. So I'm probably gonna go head over to get groceries for dinner because there's literally nothing in this house. But I did wanna go ahead and leave you guys with the last and final tip for glute growth and things that I have noticed that significantly changed my glutes. The last tip is gonna be that you need to follow a structured workout routine for at least, at least minimum of four to eight weeks to see results, okay? Because progress comes when you progressive overload, whether that's you adding in extra weight, whether it's you adding in reps, tempo, focusing on your form, all of that stuff adds up. And if you are changing your workouts every single day you go to the gym or every week you go to the gym, you can't even progress with, let's just say like a squat. If you're squatting 10 pounds on each side and that's heavy for you, so the next week you go in and you do something different, you're not able to progress with the actual movement or workout that you were doing previously versus if you stuck to a plan for eight weeks, then you can actually progress and you're making that muscle have micro tears. And when you recover, the glute muscle is actually repairing itself and getting bigger. That's just how it works. Like I said, this video, I was not following a routine. I was following a slight routine, but I wasn't progressing with my compounds or even sticking to the same isolation movements. Every single week I was changing them up so frequently that I wasn't getting the results that I could have at a much faster rate. So I highly recommend following a plan. Like I said, in the link in description, so out of all of these tips, I think the number one biggest tip for me would have to be recovery. Recovery, recovery, recovery. If you are not eating enough, if you are not sleeping enough, if you are not taking rest days, you are not going to grow. No matter if you're doing a progressive overload program, your body's not recovering. And it honestly won't even be able to add anything else to it because your body is so de-energized from lack of sleep, lack of nutrition. So number one tip would have to be your sleep and recovery, you guys. You need to make sure you're replenishing your body after your workouts and you're throughout your day. You're not eating no 900 calorie bird food diet. I'm sick of seeing Pinterest diets that are promoting freaking keto and carnivore and all of these diets that don't that are not necessary. I showed you guys in the last clip for my lunch. Literally, it's that simple. How to build your plate. And in the guide that I have released, I literally teach you guys how to build a plate, how to eat foods that you love and enjoy and still get the body you want eating what you want. Like you don't have to sit there and eat. Like for example, my sister is a very savory girl. Okay, she loves, 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 loves savory food. And I love very sweet food. I've always been like that since a kid. She's always been the opposite. She's always been a food girl. My sister would wake up in the morning and I used to make us both breakfast. I would always prep her like oatmeal and the things that I loved. Like I literally cannot wait for oatmeal or pancakes or waffles in the morning. That's just something I absolutely love. My sister on the other hand would literally be like, I am, so grossed out of this breakfast. She'd be unsatisfied at the end of the night, she would go eat like fatty processed junk because she didn't get that satisfaction for every meal. So the biggest tip is to get satisfied with all your meals. Have habitual foods that are just done at habit that you like. So my sister started having like avocado toast with poached eggs. She started eating the foods she loved that she craved and she literally loved her diet at that point. And she was somebody that never knew anything about diet. She, when I first got her into it, she was like, I can't eat oatmeal. And I was like, girl, you don't need to eat oatmeal. Like you can have eggs on toast, avocado on toast. You can have hash browns, bacon. Like you literally can just have anything as long as you know macronutrients. If you're educated on that topic, you get my guide. I will educate you. I will teach you, okay? But yeah, um, I'm gonna leave on that note. We're gonna go ahead and go to the grocery store because we need to go ahead and replenish this freaking refrigerator. I'm replenishing these muscles, but not my refrigerator. Yeah, I'll see you then. My husband actually ended up picking me up to go out for dinner because I didn't have the patience to go grocery shopping after cleaning because I said I was gonna go grocery shopping and I always stall, but I honestly am so tired. So we're gonna go get some Arabic food.
trying to figure out what I want to have for dessert and I think this is like the hardest part of my night is trying to figure out do I want vanilla, do I want chocolate? To struggle but i wanted to go ahead and close out the video i'm going to show you guys what i'm having for dessert but this is going to conclude of what i eat in a day to grow my glutes as well as the top three tips on glute growth as i mentioned way too many times in this video if you guys are looking for a glute growing guide i'll have it in the description below it is packed with information and if you guys stay consistent with this guide you will see results. Also guys, typically I don't eat out. Every time I feel like I'm filming, I'm typically eating out because there's so much to do in that day. But typically I would have another full macronutrient sourced dinner and that is pretty much literally my diet every single day is having all three macronutrients, two snacks that contain at least protein and a carb. But yeah, that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video on what I eat in a day for glute growth. As always, I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Why you gotta make it awkward? Mm -hmm. Still gonna eat it. Something about having graham cracker with chocolate. Amazing. It eat, no, no, no. It, it tastes like a s'more, but it's not.